there is two government exists. The reactionary government, which is represented by the what we call is ruling class and the uh, exploited class. Order bag on the mayor. Di lang daw mo patyon. Pusilon mo bisong. Wala bisong. Wala may silbi. From this on, uh, we will check a ship now on uh, active uh, mode. That means uh, we can conduct our operations against the uh, CPP and PA. When Rodrigo Duterte won the Philippines' 2016 presidential election by a landslide, millions of Filipinos hailed him as the man who would stand up to the domestic and foreign powers who keep the country impoverished. But today, more Filipinos have been killed by Duterte's government than the thousands murdered by Ferdinand Marcos, the US-backed dictator who enforced a bloody era of martial law in the 70s. Duterte has broken his pledge to break the Philippines' 65-year-old military alliance with the United States. Millions of dollars of US military aid continue to pour in, and last year they went to war together, raising large parts of the Muslim city Marawi to the ground. His election promise of peace talks with communist militants also hasn't got anywhere yet. One moment he asked them to talk, and the next, he threatens a new crackdown. It's been going on like this for months. The guerrilla are fighting in one of the world's oldest communist insurgencies for the New People's Army, founded by 79-year-old Jose Maria Sison, who lives in exile. We went to meet the fighters who are taking the MPA into its 50th year. Deep in Mindanao's mountainous Bukidnon province, we travel through the dead of night to stay out of the military sites, to a base that was still being set up as we arrived. This mobile platoon is constantly on the move. Their task is to spread the reach of the MPA in the vast Filipino countryside. Uh, politically, in the whole Philippines, uh, it's scattered uh, into three big islands, Luzon, Visayas and Mindanao. And uh, particular in Mindanao, um, the strategic uh, uh, mountains, which is uh, very suitable for uh, waging revolution, has already occupied the guerrilla fronts. The entire Philippines, according to the data, we have already 120 plus guerrilla zones. And particularly in, the, in our region, in North Central Mindanao, uh, we, have, uh, we have 10 uh, guerrilla fronts. The MPA follow the teachings of Chairman Mao Zedong, the leader of the Chinese Communist Revolution that in 1949 overthrew the US-backed forces of Chiang Kai-shek. Their guerrilla warfare is modelled on his strategy of protracted people's war, designed to overthrow an imperialist-backed state. The Filipino left call Duterte's government the US Duterte regime and say that even though the Philippines officially won independence from the US in 1946, the American military is still in charge. Foreign corporations continue to extract super profits out of the country's natural and human resources, just as they did under colonial rule, while millions of Filipinos are living in abject poverty, surviving on barely a dollar a day. Actually, I'm not from the organized mass, but I work in Manila as a laborer, something, something like that. So I feel so very, I feel the unjust system of the government. I hate the government already at the time, even though there's no NPA that coming to me now, then explain me that this is the government, this is the past government. Then I return home, then I see a couple of comrades, I go with them. Actually, they really think that I cannot survive because I'm big, I'm fat, no? But in principles, I believe in the party. I firmly believe in my comrades. I really dedicate myself, my life, to the revolution until it's victory. If I'm not hit by the bullet. <laughs> the guerrilla work to a strict routine and strict rules like protect the environment, no swearing, and return everything you borrow. They wake up at 4 a.m., exercise at 5, have meals at set times, 
and regular education sessions to keep them well versed in the Communist Party's ideology before they go out to nearby communities of peasants or what they call the mass base. In organizing the mass base, we have our political lines. We talk to them, we share with them with their problems. They will talk to us about their problems, about what they want in their life. Then we simply collect it all, collect it all, then we summarize it. We give them the solution of what they will do to improve their lifestyle, their, their means of living. Those solutions involve building what the communists call organs of political power, associations of local people to resist powerful landlords and corporations. They connect them with legal organizations in towns and cities, which will help them to build schools and have access to healthcare services that the government fails to deliver to remote areas just like this. And the political aspect, uh, we establish mass base, guerrilla zone, uh, from the countryside to the cities. This is what a guerrilla zone looks like. In the centre you have the guerrilla base, which is surrounded by several security and defence lines. The inner defence lines are manned by MPA fighters, the outer layers by people's militia. People's militia are local peasants, trained and sometimes armed by the MPA. Their responsibilities range from overseeing logistics, channeling supplies to the guerrilla base, providing intelligence, all the way up to defending the base and the masses in the guerrilla zone with arms if necessary. In turn, the MPA trains these peasants to build those organs of political power, their own organisations to deliver social services that the state fails to, effectively a parallel form of government. So the guerrilla zone becomes a thick layer of local peasants who defend the guerrilla base. And when mobile bases like this one move on, the guerrilla zone remains because the MPA leave behind those organs of political power and the people's militia that they trained. When the 30 says uh, there is no single barrio, <laughs> the, says, uh, the Jose, Maria, Jose Maria is on control. We are installing, we are building the political power, political organs. We had to blur many of the guerrillas' faces because some of them, called part-timers, go back into government-controlled territory to build alliances and bring new recruits to the MPA. There are men, women, different age groups, ethnic groups and LGBTQ people in this platoon and they were keen to demonstrate that the MPA is more inclusive than Filipino society in general. My parents are not uh, a revolutionary. I think I'm just the only one, I'm just the only one who hold an arm to serve, just to serve the people, to liberate the people. It uh, gave us the militant with uh, serving the people. Anang kaya po, kaya po sa kini mga bayot, mga mahimong, kapaki-pakinabang, kanang useful. Gay is useful to the society. They can also, they are creative, they can design. Of course, Let's go to the revolution and design the world and create the new world. <laughs> the uh, situation of, of the women is the root cause is the situation of the society. If the, if the whole people liberate, then the women will liberate also. Lorena Mangahas has been a guerrilla for 40 years. She got married in the MPA, escaped jail once and was released a second time. How do you try to manage the experience or the trauma of uh, having been in jail? I, to manage the trauma. In the jail I have a uh, task. I was one of the, what we call is the mayor in the jail. <laughs> the mayor with no municipality. <laughs> but I was so busy in jail. When I came release, I was Immediately, uh, go to the countryside, then do almost work. When one of her children was old enough, she also signed up to the cause. I wrote the song in 1995. Uh, the song inspired me that my children is not my own.
The owner of the is the society. Sige, uh, para sa koan, para sa mga kabataan na nagunang na biktima sa pagpanghilo sa imperialistang kultura, open sa sa kultura. Siyempre, di alagin na lokong sa iyang kaugalingon ra, sa iyang, sa iyahang umba pa sa baki nga nahulog sa balde. Ano, nga, di alagin magbalik-balik ba? Ano, ganing, unsa ang, unsa ang, Ya hang pagpangilad bitaw nga maayo ang US, ani ang US. Hala si kung gust, kung pwede lang musinggit nga unsa kamangtas ang imperialistang US sa tibuok kalibutan karon. Ko an ang akong panawagan sa tanang kabatan-unan nga kinanglan muling kawas ana nga kahimtang. <laughs>